I have seen some pretty awesome coins in my time, and this one is well up there as one of the coolest that I've seen. I love it, I think it's fantastic. This is the Asiatic Cheetah. We're gonna have a look at it here today and see what it's all about. everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's In Focus Friday where we're going to have a look at something cool made out of silver. This is the Asiatic Cheetah coin, part of a new endangered species coins and this has been supplied to me by a new channel sponsor, Parvatha Coin, who are a Canadian based specialist in very cool and collectible coins including this one. A huge thank you to them for sponsoring this video in openness and true transparency. They have gifted me this coin which is incredibly generous for them to do, but that is in no way for a quid pro quo, me telling you that you have to go and buy this because it's the best thing that you could ever buy in the world. I am here simply to present the coin, show you what it's all about, and if it's something that you are potentially interested in, then you know where to go and buy it. There's a link in the description box below, and you can go and check this coin out. In addition, Parvatha Coin have set up a $30 discount code for this, which is Backyard30. All of those details are down in the description box below as well. So go and check them out. And in addition to that discount code, $10 from every sale of these coins will be donated to the... Uh, I want to get this right. Let me just make sure I've got the right... Charity, it's the Cheetah Conservation Fund. So if you want to support a charity and this coin company and of course our brand and sponsors here on this channel, then you can go and do so. We don't get a commission from the sale of the coins. It's literally just very pleasant, very nice for me to be able to be gifted a coin like this to showcase. So without further ado, let's get on with the review. So full product review, what I would say is uh, from a little bit of feedback to uh, Pavatha, this is, a little bit basic. We would like to see maybe some extra artwork on the cardboard sleeve, but that's kind of immaterial really because the overall presentation of the actual coin itself is really nice. This is a different type of display box. It's great because you can just have it up out on display. A lot of the time with wooden card oh, sorry, wooden cardboard boxes, wooden boxes, you just have a closed lid and you can't see the coin. And if you open the lid, then it's all at a different angle and it's not great. So I like this. This is cool. It's like a floating frame, but without the sort of vacuum seal or like seal that when you close it it wraps around the coin i like that i think it's good i like this touch of the uh of the savannah background for the asiatic cheetah you know that looks really cool and that serves as the certificate of authenticity uh for this coin if i can just get it out there we go so it serves as the certificate of authenticity as you can see there all the details asiatic cheetah 20 dollars 2023 three ounces of four nines fine silver proof 350 as a mintage so a really quite tiny mintage normally we would see 500 or 999 on these types of coins but that's really quite good and low and smart minting ultra high relief technology used to create it it's a really nice little extra touch so the box itself is excellent quality really nice felt uh, sort of housing for the coin really tight in there and a little ribbon that you can get the coin out with better than a little finger slot in my opinion uh, always smoother to use and just generally a nicer uh, nicer option. So the coin itself comes in a really nice big deep capsule. I have sort of pre-opened the capsule a little bit because we're going to have a look at it uh, in its raw form and see what it's like. Um, so the capsule is really good. I found it almost impossible to get open the first time I cracked it open and tried to film. So I always pre-open these things so that I don't have to faff around. Um, but good capsules are always a good thing. So there's the coin. We have on the reverse an hourglass symbolizing the amount of time left potentially in that hourglass for the Asiatic cheetah. Really great background of the, of the map there. We'll have a close look at that in just a moment. And then the high relief colored version of the actual Asiatic cheetah with sort of a blurred side movement here. It's as if this has just gone, zoom, we are there right in front of you, uh, which is really cool and I like that. So let's crack open the capsule and see what it looks like. And I always love doing this with these coins. Um, I would say if this wasn't gifted to me to keep, I probably wouldn't do this because uh, of course I wanted to keep it in as perfect and pristine condition as possible. There's a little plastic ring on either side of these. That's just to help keep the uh, capsule away from the high relief portions of the, uh, of the actual coin itself. So nice little addition just to make sure everything is as safe as possible. But there we have the design of the cheetah, the Asiatic cheetah itself, really, really high relief and exceptional detail. I'm constantly amazed by the smart minting technology that has been put into operation over these last sort of five or six years. I remember the first few 
coins coming out from various different companies and mints around the world with smart minting. And it's just gone from strength to strength. The amount of detail that you can get from it is phenomenal. I hope the camera is really doing it justice as to how high relief it is. And that high relief isn't sort of overstated either. I think I said this on another coin the other day that sometimes if you get something that's a stupidly good 3D, like it sticks out massively, it can almost distort the realism of the image. This, however, I feel doesn't. It really complements that slender, really understated features of the cheetah. Now, I'm not necessarily a mad fanatic for Asiatic cheetahs. I'm going to be brutally honest. I did not know that, unfortunately, the Asiatic cheetahs are on the endangered species list, which is very, very sad. They are magnificent and beautiful animals, as we can see here. And it's nice when you get to see a coin that highlights something that you didn't know about and that you learn about. So that's pretty cool. Now, on the other side of the coin, the flip side, shall we say, we go over, we can see that really beautiful high relief detail of the hourglass, which is symbolizing, and that little plastic rings in there. Can I get that out? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Otherwise, that wobbling is going to annoy me all day long. So here is the reverse, and the reverse is equally as stunning. We can see that this, this is just not one of these normal sort of colored high relief coins. This has gone to an additional level. This is made to a proof standard, and... Goodness me, I wish our National Mint could make a coin quite this good with the amount of intricate detail and exquisite quality that goes into this. But alas, uh, the Royal Mint is, well, it's not very good right now. Anyway, without going into too much of a brunt and a moan about the Mint, let's just have a quick zoom in on this because there are some absolutely incredible minute details. We've got some text all around the side there. I'm going to struggle to read that on the viewfinder of my uh, of my camera here, but you can probably make it out a little bit here as we go around. So really, really cool, really great details. Um, the Asiatic cheetah, of course, with the map behind there of Africa and Asia. Uh, you know, it's not a world map, so don't get offended, you, you guys in the Americas, that you're not on that map. Uh, I think that's for just the aesthetics of this particular coin, but that's really nice. And the hourglass, of course, symbolizing the time running out for the endangered species list. So yeah, really, really nice product, really nice coin. And if we flip this around to the other side, I'll put these little plastic rings in again in a moment, don't worry. Um, but yeah, I love it. I think it's fantastic. I'm really very honored that um, Parvatha Coin have gifted this to me to showcase for you guys. It's something a bit different. Uh, you know, we've, we've shown a lot of sort of the high relief uh, antique coins of late and this is something that is setting them apart from others out there which is I think really good. Um, so if you're interested there is a link in the description to their website where you can find out a lot more about it. There's a whole um, sort of spiel about the endangered species that is the Asiatic cheetah uh, which is really nice to see and a little bit more about the uh, design of the coin and the theme that has gone into it. So if you want to find out more about that, there are links in the description box below to Pavartha Coins website. It's great product and I think it's really nice. It is a premium product though. We need to just address that elephant in the room. It's not an elephant, but it's a cheetah. We'll address the cheetah in the room today that it is a premium product. And as with all of these types of proof coins and premium products, it's not an investment in the metal, it's an investment in the overall product. You know, they go up, they go down, they go left, they go right. Who knows where things might be? And it's important that if you are a buyer of these types of products, to understand that. And if it's something that you think you would like, then go ahead and buy it. There's nothing wrong with buying these coins at all, but bear it in mind. Otherwise, that's it from me. We have actually a second coin from Pavafa Coin that we're gonna be showcasing next week, which is going to be very exciting of a similar theme, but not quite the exact same coin. So it's gonna be fun and it's well worth subscribing to. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, that is it from me as I struggle to get this all back nicely within its capsule housing. There we go, we're in. And closing up the lid of the capsule. And there we go, as everything was intended, all safe and sound back in its capsule. Wish we could say the same for the endangered species, but there we have the Pavatha coin Asiatic Cheetah. Thank you very much to them for their sponsorship of today's video. Let them know what you think of this down in the comment section. I know they'll be reading it and interested to hear what you have to say. Otherwise, thank you very much to all of my Backyard Bullion Ramblers who like to watch my videos to the back end and to the cool Kids Club members who go that extra support level. Thank you, I salute thee. We'll see you on the next video. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.